So I'm Claire O'Keefe. Uh, I work on the Stroke Rehabilitation Unit in Carlton Vale Health Board uh, and I'm the Ward Manager. We have 38 beds. We have patients who are post-stroke. It can range between, you know, from quite young patients to uh, patients in their 90s, but around 70, 72 is the average age of patients that we have on the ward. We see uh, patients with a number of impairments that could range from cognitive impairment to uh, communication impairments, severe mobility impairments, um, right left sided weaknesses, and we have um, a dedicated multidisciplinary teams, so dedicated physios, OT, speech and language therapists, clinical psychologists, uh, and, and a medical team as well. Carlton Vale purchased um, low rise beds to, uh, for all the wards in, in the UHB. Um, so we use those for all the patients and they're on pro mat mattresses. Uh, so they are stand the pro mat mattress is a standard mattress we use for all patients. Also, we've been known here to use dolphin mattresses for patients who have a lot of pain following their stroke because they can have pain in their, in their weaker side or just generalised pain and we have found that on a number of occasions using a dolphin mattress can, make, can be more comfortable for those patients. So we've been using them for three months now. Um, we've tried, we trialled three beds. So Kirsty, our Medstrom nurse, uh, highlighted that we our, our patient group would be um, a good patient group to trial the beds with. Pa the staff evaluated every time they used, every day, every shift, and what came out of their evaluations was that it was less stressful for the patients when they were being repositioned and it was more dignified because they weren't pulling and pushing and, and it, because the bed would assist them. Uh, they also like the, the, the way, weighing the patient in the bed feature, so they didn't have to hoist the patient out every time and, and it, it reduced the amount of time it was taking for them. It was saving about 10, 5 to 10 minutes every time we needed to undertake, say, a, a roll or a turn. Um, so, you know, if someone had needed four turns a day, that could be 40 minutes, you know, and if you think if you had three beds and three patients, you know, when you were quick, when you had better, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of nursing time that you can get back. So one nurse could reposition a patient and the other nurse could give another patient a drink. So, you know, patients were late, waiting less time to receive care. I think they were unanimous in saying that it would save their backs. It's they, you know, the staff were not bending, they're not reaching over, they're not pulling, they're not pushing, and especially if a patient on their weaker side, you know, they they need a lot of assistance from the nursing staff to actually manoeuvre them and pull them or push them when they have a left, right or left sided weakness. Um, so that it was preventing them, the nurses doing that less manual handling and um, repositioning. More, they could more frequently reposition the patient, which in turn meant better pressure area relief, pressure relief, and comfort for the patient. And also being able to sit the patient up a lot easier. From the lying to sitting, it, it did everything for, for, for you. Um, and it, so that helped, again, with the manual handling. I think that the Eleganza 5 would potentially reduce the length of stay of patients because if they could mobilise earlier, we could get them home earlier because a lot of the time we're waiting for their mobility to become a certain level. So we look at getting them home with maybe early support of discharge or see our, you know, community, a bit more of a community rehabilitation maybe. The thinking would be that they would get better, more pressure relief. Um, pressure area case to prevent any pressure areas developing um, 
hospital acquired so that would reduce their length of stay as well in turn and obviously could cost less to the to the health board. I would say that Elegant if I got a positive effect on the patients and the staff, yes. Try it, give it a go. Patients like the patients like them, the staff really uh, were positive and if you feel it, it'd be suitable for your pa the patients that you have on the ward, then yes, I'll trial them.